Hey guys, a really quick update. Yep, the engine is out. The engine is out. Why do you think the engine is out? Well, because of this. It's a dry sump. It's a dry sump pump. The whole chibam. I wasn't sure whether it was going to make it in time. But it did, and we still have a week and a half, and it's only an oil pan, right? So, let's feed that. That's a good one! Okay, so a slight issue that I knew, <laughs> for once I knew that was going to happen. Um, the pump has clearance issue with, with the O2M. But good thing is, this lug is not used for anything. So we can simply cut it off and we can trim the plate ever so slightly. Because by my calculation, we need roughly this much distance and that is about 13, 14, 13 mil so we can definitely we can definitely definitely get it to fit woohoo just need a bracket for cup alternator setup or the cup alternator setup. I don't really need an alternator, so if I find one on the forum, I'll just get that, use the, the bracket, sell the alternator. And uh, yeah, should be running by tea time. So we modify the box ever so slightly. Damn, it looks like it's been just chopped, 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 chopped. Well, I did measure a few times, so it clears. It clears, all the holes are aligned. Yeah, can't wait to put that thing on the car. 12 seconds later. Apparently, my old alternator setup that was supplied by Pure Motorsport it's not suitable for the dry sump, so what I need to do is make a new bracket. Uh, I can use cup setup, but those brackets are either expensive or impossible to find or will take too long to get here. Um, it's a simple bracket I can make in half an hour and just a nice little push rod uh, adjustable. Uh, let me show you what I have in mind. So the original Pure Motorsport bracket it's like that your alternator attached like that and then there's another bar that sits here um, we are removing all that and instead because there's two holes one and two and instead of going to the top one we can go to the bottom one this will definitely space our alternator low enough but also it will give us enough angle here so when the bell goes it will be on top of the this pulley that I need to press so 5 mil still my favorite hey little plate on here little bracket there and then it'll sit flush on this side uh, with a dowdy washer whatever going on top and yeah once it's all secure that thing is not going anywhere with two bolts to the block um, and then we'll just need a nice push rod that will link 
this this lug thing to the to the block so we can adjust the angle and it will go like this <sighs> simple enough of course if you're fed up with all this coronavirus bullshit why not subscribe to my channel i have plenty of content some car reviews and i'm building a race car supposedly the fastest one in the uk so pff, subscribe This thing is redundant. I need to chop it off. So the bracket for the alternator is done, the block has been chopped, so the pan sits nice and flat on the block. So now I need a new belt. How do you measure for it? You take a string, you put all the pulleys must be in the correct position, and you simply run it like you would run your normal belt. Obviously, this is quite a rough measure, but because we can adjust the tension as long as we are sort of near the figure. Ah! Keep losing the string. So, let's say... This is pretty, pretty tight. So what I want to do now is... Now we simply take this string Put it on the ruler. We stretch it ever so slightly, and we have 875, 880. So I think 875 or 880. Now I have to go and look online what is available. Engine is back on a hoist, hanging, ready to be fitted inside. Let me show you what I've done so far. So the dry sump pump has been fitted. There's a small little problem. This thing, I had to chop it ever so slightly. 
that's how it was and clearly that was in the way so we chop it everything is spot on those are the belts the engine mounts are back on and look at that it's a gold self-adhesive blanket it's not a wrap it's a blanket it's actually as you can see it's nice and thick but the the backing is fibers so it's the same as the exhaust wrap so this is the ultimate protection and we need it all right let's get it fitted the goal is to run it this weekend yay few inches later it's one of those the problem i never knew existed because of the dry sump obviously this pipe was too long and it was touching on this pipe and this is the rubber hose the standard one well this is aftermarket but it's the same size it's supposed to go over the top but clearly the pump is in a way so we made this little pipey thingy bob again pie cut just like i like it and it fits perfect so we're all good with the water water uh, hoses this one will go into here and as i explained before this is the header tank that will be sitting right there the end is near my friends i can almost smell it the burning smell of tires and clutch and all that stuff anyways 